Okay. Okay, I took a two-gallon bucket and, and uh, cut, a, cut a hole in a piece of plywood just to fit up around the neck of the two-gallon bucket right there. So it's just fitting holes as you put, fill it up with water. I drilled a hole in the bottom of it so that a, a one-inch pipe will go in with a one-inch uniseal. Each, each uniseal that you have will have a certain keyhole saw that you make that hole the size of. You just can't cut it for one inch the size of the pipe because that uniseal has to go in there. This uniseal here is an inch and a half uniseal, so you have to use an inch and a half, inch and a half hole saw. And, and then if you put the uniseal in there, that pipe will go up in there. And it'll stay in there, it'll seal. Then, this is nothing but a five gallon bucket. At the height that I want that water to come out, I measure from, from the top of this one, from the top of this, to the, to the top of this. I want that water to come out three inches below the top of the bucket. That's where I want it to overflow, over to this right here. Now, if I don't like how it's overflowing, I don't have to drill another hole. I can adjust this up or down. By pushing that pipe up or down, I can adjust it like that. And all I do is I put a medium in there, medium protector, just to keep anything out of that so it won't stop them holes up and put my filter around it. Any kind of filter, air conditioning filter, that's what I use. This is called a mechanical filter. They make a bio filter that goes with an aquaponic system but you, you have to kind of, we have to go in more depth of how that works before I introduce you to the biofilter. The biofilter is where all the bacteria grows to help change ammonia, which the fish put out. The fish, when they secrete, they, they poop and whatever they do, it comes out in the form of ammonia. The biofilter help changes, changes that ammonia to nitrate. From nitrate to nit from nitrite, I'm sorry, from nitrite to nitrate to nitrogen. That's what the biofilter does. The biofilter lets all the bacteria find places to to cling to and grow and help break down the ammonia to become nitrite. Then from that 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 point it goes from nitrite to nitrate to nitrogen. That's that process is called mineralization. That's a little more in depth of what you're gonna go through when you go to doing aquaponic. Hydroponic is a little more simpler. You just mix your uh, concentrated fertilizer and you're through. But this one, when you're raising fish and you're changing the fish water and fish poop from, from uh, what they secrete into nitrogen, you got to know about the mineralization uh, process. You got to know how to do that. But you don't have to do, you don't have to put a biofilter in it. You can use just a regular mechanical filter. But every now and then, your system is going to get kind of dirty. You have to clean it out and start over again. Now, let me tell you something else that uh, might be new to some of you all, and some of you all might know it. In, in filling up your fish tank, do not take city or county water and put it directly in your fish tank until you have let it degas. Let it sit at least 24 hours before you put it in your fish tank. If you don't, the chlorine will kill the fish. So it'll automatically degas if you let it sit overnight. It overnight, uh, 24 hours is good. But they make a solution to put in it to degas it if you want to. But I always let mine sit out and degas and uh, the chlorine is already diluted. That's one good thing about uh, taking care of your fish. If you take care of your fish, they'll make the nutrient to uh, grow your plant. And the plant grows much faster in the, high, in the aquaponic system than it do the hydroponic system. But it's a little more work. But the aquaponic system is a twofold, I call it a twofold blessing because you get a chance you grow the fish, you can eat the fish, sell the fish, whatever, and then you grow your plant. So you got a twofold blessing out of that. And that's basically all you have to know. If you start in the hydroponic system and get that 
Get that down pat, then you can come to this and you won't have no problem other than learning how to take care of your fish, how to take care of the water that comes from the fish tank, how to get it clean, how to uh, make sure that uh, you have the right filters in it, which is a mechanical filter and a bio filter. Like I said, you don't have to have a bio, but you do have to have one. Because all that poop and all the pee that's coming out of it is going to come right straight back to your plant. And your plant's going to take it up and you have, they just won't uh, produce right because they got to fight through all that other bacteria and stuff that's in it. So if you're filtered one time at least with a mechanical filter, then you're good. But if you want to really get in for some production, get a biofilter and put it between the system, and you, you really, you really be doing good then. And I think, uh, Steph, we've, we've, uh, we've told them everything that they need to know to get started. And the hydroponic system is not very expensive. You can get started for less than a good 50 bucks because those pumps are not very expensive. That's about the biggest pump that you'll need for these side systems here. Uh, it's called a uh, 250 pump, which is, it, that thing there pumps about 2,800 gallons of water a minute. So, uh, and it costs about less than $30, it costs $28 and something. But uh, that, <clears throat> that company that uh, Seth showed you a few minutes ago, uh, I believe it's, it's the magazine is here, they got everything you need for the aquaponic and the hydroponic system. Everything, everything you, some things that you didn't think you need is in that book. <laughs> but, uh, that's, whole, that's the whole thing in a nutshell there. And believe me, it grows three to four times faster than any soil that you can find. It grows inside or outside. Now, if you're growing inside with no sunlight, this is a tip. Put a grow light over the top of the grow bed. Most plants like the... Uh, LED light better than they like a regular fluorescent light. You can use a fluorescent light. They make bulbs that go in the fluorescent light called grow bulbs, but it's not the same as an LED light. The LED, LED light got ultraviolet rays in it just like the sun, and the plant like that. So they grow better with the LED light, better than the fluorescent, but the fluorescent will do good. But that's, that, that's it'll grow anywhere anywhere that you want to grow and some people will tell you well you can't grow with certain things in these units you can grow anything you want in these units you just got to figure out how to put them on trellises how to make the root of them grow and produce you just got to learn how moving them with the hydroponic you'll find out how and that's that's whole whole thing in a nutshell <laughs> I hope we provide you enough information today to get you started in the hydroponic at least. Now, the aquaponics is going to be a little amazing to you, but start in the hydroponic and you'll get the gist of it. And you'll know how it operates and, and, and the best for you. Don't never take what somebody else doing and think it'll work for you because everything don't work uh, for everybody. <laughs> That's right. Somebody tell you, I'm going to you know, Blueberries over here in my hydroponic system, and you go buy a hundred dollars worth of blueberry and they die. Well, it didn't work. Whatever worked for you, you do that. You use that method. Don't let nobody stop, stop you from doing what you're doing because it worked for you. A lot of things work for me. Uh, Self might not like it. It might, might not work for him. <laughs> but hey, keep keep trying. And trial and error is a good thing. Trial and error is a wonderful thing. Some of these plants ain't gonna grow in this the way that you got it set up some of them gonna take off and you're gonna have to catch them and keep them from running away <laughs> but but that's just the way it works so self i think you did a good job in filming and that's all i got